So with Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary looming over everything that Disney are trying to accomplish at Disney World up until 2021, let's take this opportunity to talk about the rumoured new nighttime entertainment that Disney has planned for the 50th anniversary up next. Hi there, Walton ears. I'm Jack. This is DSMY Newscast, and you know what? Let's just get straight into it. As with all of the announcements that were coming out of D23 Expo in Japan earlier this week, it really did highlight the jam-packed schedule that Disney has over the next four years at Walt Disney World. With it now being confirmed by Disney, as we had previously stated, that the Guardians of the Galaxy roller coaster and also the Tron Light Cycle attraction coming to Tomorrowland will both be completed by 2021, as major staple attractions for the 50th anniversary. And of course we'll be getting way more announcements out of D23 Expo next year, but there is one topic which we haven't really discussed yet in relation to the 50th anniversary, and that is what is exactly going on with the nighttime entertainment situation. As it's being heavily rumoured by reliable industry insiders that the Magic Kingdom will be getting a brand new nighttime parade just in time for the 50th anniversary. But don't go expecting it before 2021. As with the huge success of Happily Ever After, Disney doesn't really see it necessary yet to bring a new nighttime parade at the same time. So all of these rumours of Paint the Night coming to Walt Disney World were very much based upon speculation, and that Paint the Night parade will most likely not be coming to the Magic Kingdom. But that's not all, as with the popularity of Happily Ever After, it's being reported by insiders that Disney are working on a Happily Ever After version 2.0 to debut within 2021. Whereas the new nighttime offerings are not just limited to the Magic Kingdom, as at long last, Disney will be bringing a new nighttime show over to World Showcase at Epcot, which will see Illuminations Reflections of Earth retire after an almost 20 year long run with the new show said to be named something along the lines of Windows on the World, which of course could easily change as it may just be a placeholder. But the main thing here is that it's rumoured to probably include more Disney IP within the show, and also something extra special that hasn't been used in a Disney park before, and that is the possibility of the inclusion of drones within the show, as we saw demonstrated at Disney Springs two years ago with Intel. But the logistics are still yet to be detailed for how Disney would ensure the safety of guests when transporting the drones over to World Showcase Lagoon for the new nighttime show. Now with all of the unexpected news coming out of D23 Expo in Japan early this week relating to Disneyland, Walt Disney World and even Disneyland Paris, and yes I was surprised to see Disneyland Paris finally get a mention at a D23 Expo, we haven't yet covered some of the announcements relating to the Asian Disney Parks. As the most notable out of all of those announcements for the Asian Disney Parks is the retheming of Hong Kong Disneyland's Buzz Lightyear's Astro Blasters attraction into an Ant-Man and the Wasp ride where we've also received more concept art for this reimagined attraction, with the outside of the building being rethemed to an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. headquarters, and the interior queue area demonstrating and showcasing the technology of Hank Pym. Then we've got this on-ride concept art that has actually changed from this piece of concept art from November of 2016 to this brand new piece of concept art that now shows the addition of the Wasp and generally crisper and clearer views of what we can expect from the ride itself. But the reason why this is particularly noteworthy is it confirms a strategy which we're seeing Disney develop. As it was seven and a half years after Disney acquired Marvel that we started to see attractions within the Disney parks when we saw the Iron Man experience and also Mission Breakout open last year. And now only a year later we have three Marvel themed areas announced for Disney California Adventure, Walt Disney Studios Park in Paris and also the current transition over in Hong Kong Disneyland. But the concern is that the strategy might just be to reimagine old ride systems for a new Marvel property. But the main thing to take away from all of this is it proposes an interesting dilemma for similar attractions with in other Disney parks, such as what does the future hold for the rock and roller coaster attraction within Walt Disney World, or Buzz Lightyear's Space Ranger Spin in Disney World, or Buzz Lightyear's Astro Blasters within Disneyland. 
but hopefully we'll see more of Disney's upcoming strategy for the Marvel properties later this year when we hear a little bit more about the superhero universe at Disney California Adventure. Meanwhile, over in Epcot, the American Adventure attraction has now received the Hall of Presidents refurbishment treatment, opening earlier than expected with a newly edited Golden Dream segment that has seen figures such as Tiger Woods and Lance Armstrong removed and other well-known personalities such as Beyonce, Neil deGrasse Tyson and also Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk added to the sequence. Additionally, the show also has a brand new projector setup that creates a more seamless background for the animatronic vignettes. And now let's move on to some movie news as we finally had the Incredibles 2 trailer released. Now within this trailer we can see that Pixar have managed to seamlessly drop back into the retro world of these superheroes by continuing the storyline immediately after where the last movie finished, which a lot of sequels don't do, especially 14 years between the separate movies. But it seems that this movie is going to explore new dynamics such as Bob Parr struggling to become Super Dad in a kind of Mr. Mom parody, whilst Helen Parr goes out and lives her dream. Either way, it looks like the team at Pixar have created a great sequel here, but we'll just have to wait and find out just how good it really is when it's released on June 15th, 2018. And lastly for today, we've got some new details about the content which will be on the Disney streaming service competitor to Netflix, which is going to be released in 2019. As Deadline is reporting that there is a live action version of Lady and the Tramp in development for this streaming service. And no, it won't be a live action movie like Air Bud was back in the 1990s, or at least I hope not, but instead it will use the photorealistic CGI that was seen in 2016's version of The Jungle Book. Additionally, there's going to be remakes of Three Men and a Baby and also Sword in the Stone in development for the streaming service. But now it's over to you, Walton, as I would like to know what would you like to see as part of this new nighttime parade, which is rumored to be coming to the Magic Kingdom for 2021, and also what name would you give this new nighttime parade? And of course, don't forget to put the timestamp of where the hidden Mickey appeared somewhere within this video, along with your suggestion or your comment to be in with a chance to win in a DSMI newscast pin and congratulations to CZ Anderson for winning with this suggestion all about the upcoming superhero universe coming to Disneyland Paris and also congratulations to Adventure and Donuts for winning with this suggestion all about the other announcements coming out of D23 Expo in Japan. And so that's it for today so go ahead and subscribe down below if you're new to this channel, hit that notification icon so that you always get an update whenever one of these videos comes out and also if you've enjoyed today's video give it a massive thumbs up as it really does have this channel out and I've been Jack, you've been you and I'll see you real soon.